Well, I think today's going to be focused more on working parts and some of the smaller details. After a meet, we always feel like the team has quite a bit on their mind of little things they want to work on, and uh, and we as coaches usually do too. We watch video from the meet, and we're kind of ready to personalize the training and give certain people certain things to work on. So today we'll be hitting all four events, but it'll be more parts oriented, and then tomorrow we'll be a full routine. So today on Beam, we were talking about kind of the, the finer details and things after the meet and what we can improve upon and how we can do that. So we went back and worked some parts today. We were working on some complex to get back centered again and kind of go back to the drills because you find that when you get into the season, it's like routine, routine, routine. So we went back and kind of drilled body shapes and complex and then we did dance throughs, really working on full credit leaps and jumps really focusing on the presentation and the landings. And then we did acro routines, so they did all their flipping skills where they had to just absolutely nail it and command the landing. And then we went back and worked on um, sticking dismounts. It's kind of that time of year when we're starting on that. So just the little things and the details now. Today on bars was a parts day, so I broke their bar routines up into three separate bar segments. Uh, the first segment was they had to hit two mounts to the first skill in a row off the board. Um, then the second segment, they had to do their major release through to the exit handstand. Everything had to be competition quality. Uh, then their next portion that they broke it up into was the transition from the high to the low with a spot and finishing up to the last handstand. And the last one, which I meant, I guess we did four sections, uh, was they had to do dismounts uh, into the pit, making sure the first flip was above the bar. Today on vault, what we worked on, we really wanted to work on just getting, make sure the round off turned over. So we started with some drills and went to some layouts and uh, was really looking for them to get their hands back quick to the table, tall and tight, and then working their feet up into their vaults uh, so they could separate things. And I did like the entry. Once you work the tight feet up into the tank, patient. And then for actual competition vaults, we were just working on the ones that would count were a step or less in the direction of the vault. But I always focus on the pre-flight and how tall and tight they are, making sure they're turning things over and getting their hips up in the front. Then later on, we went back to floor and we were drilling leaps and jumps. We still want to make sure we're not losing a quarter tenth there. And we did an endurance floor routine uh, with a finisher. So they did a, a, a dance through with sprinting and then went over and did a last pass into the pit. They keep it easy on the body, but we want to continue to build the endurance on floor because, um, you know, it's, it's still early in the season and we've still got a way to, a way to go with that. Floor can take a little bit longer than the, than the other events. So we're still working on that. This, this was our first training after a competition in the Huntsman Center. We usually start with kind of a parts day and let the girls begin to build back up. Uh, they take on the, the things they're working on in small parts rather than in a full routine. I want you guys to come in and, and be who you are. First thing I want you guys to realize is you guys are at your best when you're, when you're just like that, cheering for you. Okay? That's when you guys are at your best. <laughs> 
okay? You guys, you guys know that we're, we're really happy with where you're at. You guys know that, right? Right? And we're just gonna keep getting better, small increments throughout the year. Class! Wow, thank you so much.